I mean, listen, I just had two short on the show, and he's not fully convinced Tupac is dead. You know, and, he, and the way he related to it, he goes, well, you know, some politicians die and, and plane crashes, and they're not always accidents. Well, I believe Tupac didn't die. Really? <laughs> you think Tupac's still alive? For real, Man. for real. Vlad believes everything he reads. <laughs> no, I don't believe everything I read, but I actually interview people around the situation. Uh, okay, that's cool. You interview people that seen the dead body, all that. That's cool. <laughs> you, you must live with your truth. Right. But so I'm you, telling you. You believe Tupac's alive right now. I'm just saying that every politician did not die of fucking car, the car crash. And then some of them motherfuckers got killed. Okay, fair enough. Some of them plane crashes were deliberate. Okay. So spill the shit over in the hip hop, man. It, it, is, it is a possibility. There's no reason for it. I would understand if it was a reason for it, but there was no reason for the powers to be to, to keep Tupac like saying, hey man, we're gonna do you a favor. I don't, what was that gonna do wow. for, for him? Listen, uh, Tupac's dead. <laughs> I've talked to so many people around the situation from his close friends to his family. Michael Jackson's not dead. But Michael Tupac, Jackson's not I'm dead. I'm joking. <laughs> Prince also? <laughs> I, went, I went to the Michael Jackson funeral. They didn't open up the gold casket. Okay. Um, you I'm just you actually went to the funeral? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. Now, now, now I, I believe people die. People die. Yeah. Whether you like them or not. Whether they're famous or not. People die. Yeah, especially if you're living a, a hard lifestyle, man. You know, that, that's always, you know, someone who's in my 40s. You know, when I see people pass away that are my age, it scares the shit out of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, and that was the average age of Diane America was 47 at one time. Oh, yeah. I believe that. Yeah, a lot of people didn't live in the 80s. Yeah. Real talk. And, you know, and I, I talk to my doctor a lot about it. And he goes, well, you know, when you look at most of these people that are dying in that age, drugs usually has a role in it. Right. You know what I mean? You look at Michael Jackson. You look at Prince. Um, you know, you could look at hip hop. People like none of them die from marijuana, though. None of them die from marijuana. None of them die from cannabis, but none they all die from things made in a factory by the government. In fact, <laughs> not by the government, but by labs the government have approved. 2018 has been the deadliest year for rappers in terms of drug overdoses and murders. Yeah, particularly drug overdoses. You know what I'm saying? Like from the Mac Millers. Mac Miller was unbelievable. You know what I mean? Uh, little Peep, sorry, which died, you know, he died late 2017, but still, you know, within a, a close, you know, range here. There's a lot of overdoses. A lot. From, from pharmaceutical made. Opioids. Drugs. Yes. That you get at the drugstore. Exactly. Right. It's almost like the new crack epidemic. Yeah. Crack um, at a different point, but this is like a heroin and those, and those sleeping pills. And those pills that people were popping. I, I never got into the pill popping game. I've always been in the earth. Me neither. It's just matter of fact, I never even got into the cocaine and yeah. hard drug game. I, I had a close friend of mine overdose and died at twenty three. Yeah. You know, me from, too. Co from cocaine. Twenty one. Yeah. You know, 95. go going to that funeral made me go, Yeah, okay, this is something I'm not gonna try. Yeah, like Th this right here. They told me Lenny Bias had been doing drugs all the time and I know since we were fifteen, sixteen years old, he was totally against it and into training his body. And then when they explained um, in June 1986, it was pure cocaine. He had no body fat, and his his heart shattered. Uh, I remember this girl that come to my crib one time, and she's in the bathroom a hell of a long time. But I just thought, you know, girls don't like to let you know when they pooping or something. And she came in. She was all ready to go, man. And my lips started getting numb and kissing. And I was like, my lip is numb. She goes, oh. Did some come out of my nose? And I said, what? She goes, I just did a couple of lines in your bathroom. So I get up and I go get my brother. And I go, she's doing cocaine in my bathroom. I can't feel my, nip, my, my lip. If I get tested, you, she got to go. She get, we got to kill her. We, I'm going crazy. He's like, John, calm down. Put her out. And that was literally the closest I got to putting anything in my nose. I did some ayahuasca this year, though. I'm, I'm, I'm trying all new things. <laughs> okay. and I, you know, you turn 50 and you say, I'm going to do this now. I made it to this far. So I'm just trying different things.